Now we'll get into M mode and Doppler modes to get into any imaging mode. You'll just start by pressing that mode and you'll get your reference line here and simply click update and you'll have it there. Now uh, this is a little different than your dual. To change the layout you can just simply push and it'll go left, right or up, up and down. Change the dynamic range, the sweep speed, and your color maps are all right here. To get out of that, just simply click B, and you're back in B mode. Now, going into Doppler modes, you'll just click D to go into Doppler, and you'll get your reference line here. Move the trackball, and you can do various things. Now, notice over here we have angle is highlighted, so you can now twist and change your angle, and the reference angle will be shown here. So just go to 60. And if you want to steer, you'll see that in the next part. So we'll just go ahead and click update. And we have this here. And here we can change. We can steer the angle there. You can also do quick angle. That'll take you directly to a 60 degrees. And we'll flip right through. Go 60, 0, negative 60. Here's our Doppler frequency, our color map, if you are in color. Uh, sweep speed, volume here, triplex if you are doing Doppler and color mode. Pulse repetition frequency is what you'll use to change uh, the velocity scale to avoid aliasing, aliasing in a high velocity mode. Show the quick angle in the steer. Quadplex is like triplex mode except it also has live calculations going. So it will show you live, uh, it'll show you results right there live off of the spectral and here also twist you change the baseline and move that up and down so where is the wall filter come on up here and push the menu button down and here you can scroll down click and adjust your wall filter and then you have other items spectral enhancement auto calculations you can have you can turn on and it'll show you those the calculations live per auto cal parameter you can check these off as to what it is that you'd like to see in this auto calc that shows up. Uh, smoothing trace, the threshold for it, not, various things here. For utility, you can click down on that. Under post processing, there's nothing you can change here. That's all for the 2D. Go ahead and click exit and get out of that imaging. Go ahead and go back to B mode and let's try color Doppler here. Just simply hit the C and you have your region of interest box right there and it just goes into live there's no need to click update or anything of the sort and now notice angle is highlighted again you can change your angle here it's also known as steering and you can twist this to basically do the same thing push down to check change your doppler frequency here you have your wall filter for some reason it's this way for color but not for 2d or for not for regular doppler change your color map Change your pulse repetition frequency, uh, invert the color, push that and it flips it upside down. Persistence will show you how long that color stays on, it'll make it flow or just flash. So the higher the persistence, the longer that color will stay on the screen. So if I turn it all the way off, it just will flash through, whereas this way it stays on the screen for a long time. Line density, you can try, if you want a little bit better color, you can uh, increase line density from high to low. And here's your baseline. You can twist this and it moves your baseline up and down. You also have a submenu here just by pushing down to get to the menu. You have two different color modes, variance and velocity. You can change your wall threshold here, which will improve high or low velocity. Uh, blood affection is just basically you want really high resolution or smooth. BBCs, that gives you a split screen. You've got color on one side and 2D on the other. We'll just go ahead and click exit to get out of that. We'll go back to B mode. Now color power Angio works very similarly. You just hit CPA and you have your box. And this is just going to show you cellular movement. Now that's all just one color and it's not giving you any directional information or velocity information. And same thing, if you hit menu here, you can get what's called directional power Doppler, which it won't give you any velocity information, but it's going to show you, you'll get blue and red, and it's going to show 
cellular movement moving towards the probe and away from the probe. And if you just want to go back to regular power, power Doppler, use this, click it down, and now you have your regular. Again, directional power Doppler will show you directional. Same thing, you can hit BBC just like in the, in the color. Turn that off and exit. We're back to regular CPA mode. I've gone ahead and changed probes now, and I want to go to a phased array to show CW Doppler. So I'm going to go ahead first and choose my new a new exam and go to this phased array probe. And I'll start by doing tissue Doppler. And that's simply done by pressing here and use the update key to change the position. Enter will change the width. Update will change the depth. So I click Enter. Click the utility menu and you really just got wall threshold and you can choose the affection as to high resolution or just smooth and that's going to adjust your frame rate. Go ahead and click exit out of that. Down here you can change your frequency, wall filter, color map, pulse repetition frequency, invert the color, change your persistence just like before, line density, high or low, and again that's going to change your frame rate and change your baseline. Go ahead and hit B mode to get out of that. Now to activate stress echo, first you need to freeze the image and press the menu button down and you'll see protocol. Go ahead and click that and you have your default and I created a custom one named test there. So you are able to edit and create your own. Click that edit and you have all these different things here where you can create your own, create new, type your name in, etc. But here is what you can do to make your own preset, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, I want to go back into, click that, go to protocol, click it on, and I want this default 4x4, which comes on the system, click OK. And it's some, not something I can show you right now without an ECG attached, but I can go ahead and hit save each time on these images. If you don't have the ECG, you can go ahead and hit save, and it'll go through the various protocols there. And when I'm done, I'm going to press that menu button down again. And here I can analyze, change the timers, etc. Click on analyze and it'll pull it all up and you can view it in various sections there. Go ahead and click OK. Now for CW continuous wave Doppler, just push it down, just like pulse wave Doppler. Choose your area of interest with your gate. Hit update. And just like PW Doppler, you can change your angle here. And same kind of items along the bottom as far as inverting, map, wall filter, etc. Clicking the menu doesn't give you a whole lot more than you would see in anything else utility and I can either exit but again I'll just use this button here. One other thing while this probe is attached is you have something called anatomical M mode. I'm going to go back to B, hit M. It is called free M mode here. Just get your M line, click update and normally you can just change it this way. If you go to here, go to free M mode, I'm going to click, turn it on and now I can move that structure get a different view. And next we'll get into annotations and measurements.